Hi there. Today, I'm on a mission to find the best places to eat and maybe drink in Hoi An, and that's why I'm with Joop, who's right next to me. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Joop. That's Joop. <laughs> So the first place she's brought me is Coco Box in the middle of Hoi An. Now, what is special about Coco Box? The special thing is they use the local fruits and vegetables from here, uh, from the area uh, here around Hoi An. What would you recommend here at Coco Box? The cold press juice. How do you cold press juice? What does that mean? Um, they use a special machine that like uh, press the ju press the the juice slowly. I don't know how to explain. We'll just make something up. That's what I usually do. Um, all right, well guys, obviously cold press is like, the fruit is probably cold, right? No, no, no. And then at some point, they yeah. press it, uh, and then you, there's juice, and then you drink it. That's close enough. It's a glass of juice, what do you want? Let's go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide this right here. No one's gonna know that we have a microphone hidden here. Cold pressed juices. Now, we've got the full explanation here. All our juices are cold pressed. Oh. Okay, I didn't really explain it today. So what is your favorite one here? My favorite one is the, the Hulk effect. The Hulk the effect. Hulk effect. Yeah, like the amazing uh, like the amazing Hulk. It has morning glory, lettuce, celery, apple, cucumber, and lime. I gotta say, that doesn't sound good at all. That's refreshing. I must warn you, I love beets. If you've ever eaten a can of pickled beets, the next day, don't be horrified um, when you go to the bathroom. It's the beets. Okay. It's a little bit sour so from something, I, I don't ginger? know. Ginger? No, sour. Yeah, from the ginger? No, ginger is not sour. Oh, wow, okay. I thought I had a food review show on TV. <laughs> uh, I mean, YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna give yours a try. If people don't know what Morning Glory is, I'll show you a shot of it now, bam. Super popular vegetable in Vietnam, and I didn't know that you could like really extract a juice from it. Yeah. I can say this, most people would like this. It is still refreshing. It's uh, it's just a hint of cucumber, it's not too much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've heard of Morning Glory the vegetable. Now we're going to Morning Glory the restaurant for lunch number one. So this place is famous in Hoi An, right? Yeah, it's famous. And, and it has a lot of good reviews on TripAdvisor. Wow, a lot of good TripAdvisor reviews. That That's not at all why we picked this place. It's not It's not like I'm looking for people who are looking for this restaurant to click on my video. It's more about street food, but they, they upgrade it and they bring it to a restaurant. The place is packed. There's tons of people here. It is 1.30 and it's still packed inside. So I think that's a testament for just how popular this place is and not just on TripAdvisor also in life, in real life advisor. Hi, this is not a mic, this is a napkin. We have a couple common dishes here. This is the white rose dumpling. Secondly, bonseo. This looks like a hard shell taco. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, from Taco Bell. I feel like if Taco Bell ever opens up in Vietnam, please, God, that this could be on their menu. Usually the bonseo in Saigon, they put it in a leaf. And Tons of vegetables and it's, and it's huge. It's like the size of you, it's bigger than your head. Bigger than my head. <laughs> That's big. But here, they're small, they're adorable, and we're gonna wrap it in rice paper? Mm. You just rip it with your hands, huh? Yeah. Wow, brutal. It's street food, you know? It's street food, okay. So <laughs> any of this you should be able to eat with your hands, right? And then you roll it. Dang. Bang. No, I, I could never. Mm. I love to hear that sound. Wow, it's unbelievably crunchy. So here it's like we have the freshness from the herbs, the crunchiness from the bonseo, and we have the chewiness of the rice paper. When you bring it all together, it uh, feels right. And? Mm, it's really good. It's good? Crunch cam. This is the white rose uh, dumpling. Very beautiful, stuffed with uh, what? What do you think it's stuffed with? Paste it shrimp. Uh, shrimp paste? Uh, shrimp paste. If you've never had fish sauce, I mean, it's really outstanding. And it doesn't really taste like fish at all. Does it taste like fish to you? It tastes like fish. All right, everyone thinks it tastes like fish except for me. <laughs> that is the most adorable dumpling I've ever eaten. A little chewy, it's very light. There's some citrus on there. It's not like the street dumplings that are gonna be very heavy. And then you, you eat it and you're like, you, you're sweating while you eat it because it's doing something to your body. I could eat about a hundred of those. 
So those two appetizers were amazing, and now it's time for the main course, stuffed squid. There's a whole entanglement of uh, squid legs here. Now, how amazing does that look? It looks like sausage. It looks like sausage? Yeah. Oh, well, I like sausage. I miss my mom so much. You miss your mom? Yeah. That's what, so was your mom a squid? <laughs> Is that why you said that? My mom always makes this dish for me. I'm really missing out because my mom never stuffed anything uh, except for a turkey. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna call my mom after this and ask her why she never stuffed a squid. <laughs> Tentacle cluster. Oh my God, it's unbelievable. It's so tender. Mm. Yeah, a lot of people think stuffed squid is weird. It's not, it's uh, you need to put stuff inside of it because it's kind of an empty animal, mm. right? Yeah. And I think, you know, any animals that have little hollow cavities, you gotta put something in there. Because otherwise it's flat and it's all like, like you gotta find some stuff and put it inside. Uh, and let's, let's try it out. No exaggeration. That is real good. I would eat this until it was gone. Is this better or worse than your mom's? I think it's better. <laughs> oh. Sorry, sorry mom. No, but she's an open-minded person. She's open to critique and feedback. Good. I'm not, okay? I'm not like that. The show's fine how it is. It's not changing. Okay, moving on. Location two, lunch two, where are we? We're at the new eatery. New is the name of the mother of the owner. Oh, that's kind of sweet. Okay, cool, let's go eat. This place is kind of a fusion between Vietnamese and Western food. Mm -hmm. And here we have a spring roll. Spring roll. Is this any different from a normal spring roll? Yes, it is okay. really big. Yeah, <laughs> I don't, you don't usually size. see this. This is so cool. <laughs> this is some kind of a salad. Everyone on my show who watches knows my nickname is The Salad Dude. Because everywhere I go, I gotta have a salad. They call it chicken rice. So as a authentic Vietnamese person, for you this it still seems a little familiar, but mostly strange. Strange. It looks like unusual. Uh, yeah, teriyaki rice in uh, in J Japan or mm. yeah, something different than Vietnamese food. Wow, this is stuffed with so many different delicious ingredients. Um, let's try it out. Mm -mm. I th I thought that was extremely fresh. The mm. little bit of oil was nice. Because it's mostly uh, vegetables inside. There's no like vermicelli. Mm. These flowers double as a microphone. Okay, having a food show isn't about knowing what's in every ingredient, okay? It's also about being very handsome and just saying, mmm, that's good. That is hefty. Oh, this part? Just, just hold on. Hmm. Your hand. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's for you, one Mark. Point. Instead of vermicelli, which is usually in spring rolls in the south, right? Mm -mm. They've used young coconut. Yeah. And it still has that awesome texture, mm. but with all the carbs. Coming up next, we've got a salad. What's really special about the salad is that it contains bacon, soy marinated egg, pear, sunflower seeds, and chrysanthemums. It has all that stuff, mm. all in this bowl. I noticed there's bacon in here, but there's not really bacon in a lot of Vietnamese food, right? Mm. Why you guys don't do no bacon? Do you like bacon? Mm, not really. Oh, Jesus Christ. You don't like bacon? Oh, jeepers. Yeah. I don't even know how to relate to you. I don't think I've ever had chrysanthemums. Now, they do look like weeds, um, but um, here we go. For a salad, Quite good. Mm. The bell pepper is pickled. Unexpected. This is sesame chicken. There's cabbage. There are long beans. And a chicken. So here we go. Sesame chicken. This looks beautifully and expertly executed. And now, to eat it. I need to make my new yummy face. Mm. You know what I mean? Mark has his, like, mmm face. Mine could be like... <laughs> Sorry, that was really yummy. That's my yummy face, I can't control it. That... Okay, but seriously, this is dope. It is so good. Everything that goes together perfectly, watch. Oh, here's some cabbage. Here's some rice. 
Here's some bean. Right now she's really thinking about the food. Okay, one bite at a time, processing. I hope you had as much fun as uh, I, we, I did, we did. All of us had a lot of fun. And, you know, next time you come to Huyen, you go to one of the places from the video. That's the whole point of the video. Stop subscribing. I'm getting too much subscription traffic. Bye.